Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Thursday the 7th of April 2022. Uh, I've had a pretty busy morning, it's still early, not that late actually, it's still morning here. I've had a pretty busy morning so far, uh, completed quite a bit of work which is useful and uh, soon we're going to have to go out and wash the car because I've got to take the cat to the very high society animal <laughs> hospital, <laughs> very expensive. And I really let down the side. I'm the only person with a very dirty car <laughs> in the car park of these shining and gleaming, you know, very expensive cars in the <laughs> in the car park. And we have to be transported from the car park via golf cart to the actual vets because the, the car park is some distance away. <laughs> and I get these bad looks as like, you know, I'm the the ugly foreigner who <laughs> can't bother, can't be bothered to clean his car. So I better go and give it a. It is disgusting at the moment, though. So I better go and give it a quick wash before we head off to our daily uh, visit to the vets with the cat later today. Right. Okay. Uh, this is the Guardian hard level for hmm, rude person outside. First of two hard level puzzles uh, that the Guardian sets. Uh, usually it's uh, Thursday and Friday, um, but not normally particularly hard. Let's uh, see how it rates today, shall we? First up, I can see this four blocking down here, four blocking down here, and four across here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you have not played Sudoku much before. But what I mean is this four um, blocks any other square in this column from becoming a four. This four does the same in this column, and this four does the same in this row. It's very unusual. You know, like uh, some cities have lots of cars beeping, right? You never find that in Thailand. We almost never hoot, hoot our horns. <coughs> we, it's a very rare thing, even though the traffic at some points is really terrible. And in some cities, people will be going beep, 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 you know. It's something we don't do. We just sit patiently and uh, uh, wait for something. Uh, I, in fact, this brings something to mind. Many years ago, I acted as an interpreter uh, on a documentary film from a, uh, can't remember a Scandinavian. Anyway, I know I know who was Scandinavian uh, filmmaker who was making some. Uh, who was doing some film on on um, uh, the traffic in Thailand, and I was asked to interview a taxi driver amongst other things, and I, I asked this guy, you know, and he said, you know, like, chat to him and say, well, why aren't you really angry, you know, why, why do you, how comes you can sit there in the traffic when, you know, the traffic is so bad and you can just sit in Bangkok for hours and hours, it's really a nightmare um, city in terms of traffic, and the taxi driver said to me, well, actually, what's the point in me tooting my horn and beeping and the, the car in front he said he can't go anywhere he can't do anything why should i be angry with the person in front this is not his fault he said and you know when he goes then i can go and so i just have to sit and wait it out you know when he goes i can go so there's no point in getting angry and you know beeping and i thought oh interesting i, I thought it was a, a nice interesting philosophical way of thinking about the horrific traffic that we have and how not to get angry about it. A, a nice zen kind of thing, don't you think? All right, okay. Let's uh, stick our four in there finally and st start looking for other things. and get to grips with this grid. Um, just to really just checking it out. Because as you know, I never uh, look at these before uh, beginning. Okay, here we go. There's a nine blocking up this column here, a nine blocking up this column here, and a nine across there. So leaving just the one empty white square where we can place our nine. <coughs> also, 
nine blocks across here and nine blocks down here. So let's gonna leave nine in one of these two spaces, not quite sure which one, but one of them, and that eventually will block down here. This nine will block down here and this nine will block across here. So again, just the single white space left, nine across here, nine across here, one cell where we can place a nine there, nine up here, nine across here, nine fits there, nine up here, nine up here, nine across there and across here, nine there. Surely we can finish this nine, can't we now? Yeah, nine across here and nine across here. That's the final nine, the final countdown. Okay. Uh, this four blocks these three squares. We don't have a four in this row yet, so we know four has to go there. Uh, we don't have five in this row yet. This five blocks both of these squares, so five is going to appear here. Uh, missing numbers in this row are six and eight. We have an intersected six here, excuse me. Six goes here, then eight is here. Eight blocking down here and down here, so that's our eight there. Um, right, come on, get it together. Wake up. Wake up. I've already been out for, I've already had breakfast, went out to buy breakfast, came back. It's, the sun is shining. It's going to be another hot day today. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's hit the numbers and see if anything springs to mind. I'll point out to you where threes are, shall I? Um, threes appear like this, and like this, and like so and like this, and like that. There we are, in case you're wondering where the threes go. Uh, fours, hmm. well, fours are available in these squares across here, and then uh, up here like this, and then across like so. Fives like that, like this, like this, like this, and too many places up there to worry about. Sixes, hmm. sixes are like this, somewhere across there, oops, including that square, and, and lots of places up here including that, so too many again to find anything definite. Ah, here we go, seven blocks across here, seven blocks up here, so that's our seven that we can place now. 
7 blocks across here, so 7 is in one of these squares, which you block across here, 7 down, 7 up here, so that's our 7. And now the missing numbers here are 3, 3 blocks here, so that goes there, and 8 will finish that row. Oh, nine is done, isn't it? Okay. Uh, right, where are we now? By the way, this is, uh, this is quite a good game for the Guardian. Usually, or well, very often, the hard level ones don't even require thinking about you can just go bang 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 and in they go very very easily but um, today's requires a bit more thought so that's good I haven't gone to sleep. I am checking things out here. Uh, right, okay, so I need a different approach. I've just done a quick check with my eyes through the numbers and not found anything particularly useful. So I need to take a slightly different approach. Um, so let's see what we can do. What numbers are missing across this row? Um, we don't yet have a one, we don't have a two, or uh, three or a five. Okay, so two and five block these two squares, so we know that two and five must appear in these two squares. Now we can't quite say which is which just yet, but we know they are two and five, and that leaves one and three in these squares, and clearly the one blocks this square here, so we know that's a one, and we know that's a three. Three, and now I think we can do something about the threes, three blocking up here, three across here and up here. So now we can place that three. Uh, actually three blocks down here, doesn't it? So this is also a three uh, in one of these two squares. So that means this can't be three over here. This has to be a 3 down here. Uh, the missing numbers here now are 5 and 6. So 6 blocking this square, so we'll put the 6 there. Oh, 5, sorry, hit the wrong key on the keyboard. <coughs> Can't do that when you're going with pen and paper, can you? Can't make that mistake. Uh, now, missing numbers in this row are 2 and 6. The 6 blocks this square, so 6 appears here, and 2 will finish the bottom row. 2 blocks this square here, so we know 2 goes there, and here will be a 4. Um, missing numbers here and here are 1 and 3. Well, we got the 3 blocking down there, so here's our 3 and here's our 1. 1 blocking up here, 1 across here. Maybe this game wasn't quite as tough as I thought, just looking for that one way in. <coughs> two blocks this square here, we still need a two in this row, so let's put our two here and let's complete this row with a five. And let's say five blocking up here, five blocking up here, we'll put five there. We have just one number left to get in this column. The missing number I believe is a two, let's put that in. Now we can say two blocking up in this direction, up vertically there, horizontally there, gives us a two there, and 
and then two back in this blocking back in this way and up here we can certainly say a two must be in that square one number missing either for this block or this column doesn't matter which way you look at it it's still a two two joins nine as a completed digit <coughs> Uh, we don't yet have a 3 in this box, but we have a blocking 3 here and here. So we can say that 3 goes there. 3 is now finished. Missing numbers here now appear to be 5 and 7. So 7 blocks here. We can put our 7 there and a 5 will go there. Okay, we have three empty squares in this row, and the missing numbers are one, four, and six. Now, if you look down here, you'll see a one and a six in the same column. So if this can't be one and can't be six, it's gonna have to be four. Oh yeah, look, that was the last number I needed for that column anyway. <laughs> I did a lot of extra work there for no reason, probably. Four is blocking across like this or blocking up there. But you know, you get kind of concentrated, you get fixated on looking at a pattern or something, and sometimes you don't look at the rest of the grid. That's what I find anyway. We have one blocking here, one blocking up there. So we can place a one there. The last number for this column now, I think is an eight. Okay. Now the four blocks this square, so four goes here. The last number is a six. 6 blocking up here, so that's a 6. 6 across here and up here. Excuse me. Forget these numbers. 6 up there. Like, there we go. Leaving just the top right corner for a 6. Uh, this missing number here is a 5. 5 blocking across here puts a 5 there. Missing number here is an 8. 8 blocking here. 8 blocking here. You're an eight, one blocking here, so you're a one, and last number here is a six. One blocks this square, so one goes here. And to finish today's grid, a seven will do it, okay. Um, yeah, not a bad hard level game for the Guardian. I don't think we really consider the Guardian hard anything like the New York Times hard. Sometimes the expert puzzle is like that, but not very often. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope to see you later today. And uh, about tomorrow's games, I'm going to be very busy a whole day tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to play tomorrow. But anyway, let's see. I'll do my best. Bye-bye.